AG Labs, my name is Ben. Good morning, hello, and happy welcome to the Micro Soldering Show. Yeah, one week without a video, so we got the next one today. I got an iPhone X board which was mailed in um, from another repair shop, and the problem is that a um, customer came in and wanted to have the important data. So it got error 4013 after water damage. So it only got some corrosion on the top of the front flex, and um, the customer didn't want a functional phone, so they just um, just put it off the FPC and they did an update. So this was no problem. But after that, if you try to unlock the phone, the screen always freezes. Okay, so you give in the code, freeze. Give in the code, freeze. Give in the code, freeze. Okay, so let's see if I can show this to you here. go to I got a fucked up screen here but um, it's not related to the screen okay so we boot so it's only a test screen so it's fully working the touch is working and uh, we only got these stripes here but that's not a problem wait until the device has booted up And I got this problem I I got about 200 times. Can you see that here? So it's it's dark. So I just give in a code. I just use D8 and D8 and D8. And it always tells me freeze, okay? So the phone freezes. If I give in the code, the phone just freeze. You can't put in any more at the screen. And that's a problem which really often occurs on these iPhone X and XS and it is mostly caused by an NFC problem. Okay, so let's check if we really have a problem like this here. So the first thing we need to do is just separate the board. So let's heat it up. Okay, here we are. Oh, that's a board with just a little paste. I don't think that it was al already separated. I had a look before, but here you can see it's paste but not as much as in other phones. Okay, so let's check what about that board. We really have a problem with the NFC. Then we have a, a fast video. So we go to the microscope camera and we have a look. What do we have here? Here we have some And what did I say? Do you see that? I see something which is... Something which looks not normal. Crazy. Crazy shit. Do you see? That solar ball here, which is coming out of the... Of the IC. This looks... Not okay, I think. So always use your eyes, even if you don't know where the arrow could be. Separate the board and look with your eyes to see. I think we should take out that NFC I see. And it moved. You see, it moved. Okay. Wow. 
what happened here you see that this looks and we have some 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 solar here so something happened here something happened here was it a big heat i don't know what happened here it's pretty important that we clean that now that we take the solder where is the problem why did we had that solder coming out here okay this looks good where we are where we are here we are Okay, let's clean. Where is my... Here, here's my contact cleaner. Just came into the company some minutes before. Okay, that looks clean for me. Great. I think that should be the way it should look. And now let's check the NFC I see. And let's get that phone back to life again. What happened here? some cases I really think about how things like this can happen that's one of these cases in which I really really cur curious okay cleaned now we just need to reboil Do we have NFC on here? Normally, yes. This looks pretty okay or not? Nice one. Okay. Just a little reball. Out. Some more flux here. One of the most important things you see in my videos that I directly put the flux onto the chip to save time. It's just really time saving. So A1 should be on the left bottom side here. So 
just some of flux here. Okay, done. Looks much better, I think, or not? So we don't have any solder balls coming out here. We have uh, perfectly rebolt this little chip and all is fine. So now it's pretty important. We don't want to see this customer coming back caused by other problems. So I know people they just separate the board and just put it back together without reballing. Why? It saves time. It's fast. Device works. It's going out. Your customer uses the phone. It fell down. One time. Just like this. After that, no touch, no Wi-Fi, other functions, no more. That's a problem caused by a ball break between the board halves because the factory while producing the phone is using low melt solder between the top uh, the mi middle frame and the top layer okay so this is the problem why so many of these boards come in for a fix and that's why i always always renew the solder between the board halves okay i take off the whole solder and it for sure it takes more time but I want to see a happy a happy customer just a smile I want to get a good reputation I want to see that people say oh yes I was at um, at AG Labs I was at Apple Doctor Germany and he repaired my iPhone X and I I'm using it now for for two two years or three years after the repair and it just works like a charm okay so that is really important for me By the way, what's your meaning to talk about Arrow 14 in one of the upcoming videos? What's your meaning about that? Just give me some comments and we can we can arrange that. And by the way, I would be very happy, very, very happy if you would subscribe the channel, give me a thumbs up and share my content to to get bigger, okay? So I, I, I really used a lot of time um, the last two years on these YouTube videos and on my channel and it really, sometimes it really took my, my life, my life just for getting up every day in the morning and doing video for video for video so and even I, I i always have a lot of work here at the company and yeah at the moment we are just uh, planning the move with the company so at uh, march 2021 we will move with the company to a new place to a real a real big uh, big house and it's all all, all all the uh, all the rooms are getting amazing and um, we have video rooms there only for doing the, the YouTube content with very high professional equipment and um, it gets really big but what I need what I need is your your help to just share the channel to get bigger and um, to spread my content okay because I, I really love to do what I do here I really love to repair but what I need is your help to grow this is something I can't arrange by myself I don't buy clicks I don't buy followers that's not my my intention I need your help I need happy people who like to watch the videos 
and I like your help to to make this channel bigger as bigger as we get as more content am I able to to realize for you and to get content much more professional better looking more cameras and and all these things we will realize at the new building with the company but I need your help to grow okay then just brush the board Really, this is my favorite. My favorite board is the iPhone X board at the moment. Even CPU works or board repairs. I just really love the the iPhone X board. Really. Okay. Now we need to to rebore. Just I uh, just have to answer something, and then we can the rebore Okay, I just had to answer an important, an important email. Okay, so just picture of the board. Now we can rebore the middle frame. Cleaning the stencil. And this looks good. paste I always use fresh paste out of the directly out of the bottle and now we just go to getting the paste into the board into the stencil not into the board into the stencil and then good morning, good morning. crash on all printers <laughs> Scheiße. <laughs> Just wanted to to prank Andy. Great. Okay, as you see, we got the paste down into the board. Now we can just clean that by using a fresh wipe or not a fresh wipe but a wipe okay and close the stencil like this 
and just fire. Und? Scheiße das. Ach so, hat funktioniert alles. Gut. Also das Problem gelöst. Okay. So, now we do the reball of the board. I always use 183 solo for reboarding the board because I don't like these low melt solo types because I don't want to risk any problems later after the repair of these X boards. And done. Lifting up, taking a wipe, going over through, lift up the stencil completely, control, looking great, just give in some flux, doing a quick reflow. Done. Waiting a short time for cooling down. Take out the heat sink. Clean one time again. back together so for that we use again a little bit of flux Like this. Put 
putting the top layer board down with your hands control that it looks good and if it looks good turn up the heat to 183 degrees 185 190 like you want and then we should get the board back together Let's see if we don't have a freeze anymore. On using the coat for the phone. So you couldn't unlock the phone. Because every time the screen just freezed. Is that problem solved by only reboiling the NFC IC? Done. Now we just turn off the preheater. And we want to speed up the cooling down process. So I take out the board and just lay it down to that heckle board holder because the heckle board holder is cold and he takes a lot of heat out of the board so it cools down fast it cools down faster okay now i get it to the dust absorber just to take away some heat And we control the board under the microscope. So you can see it's really flat. I don't have new clean room wipes here. I have to take it out of out of our stock. This really looks amazing. Okay, you can see all the boards are well connected. The board is really flat, like it should be. Okay, let's check for a boot. First, without using the screen, because I want to see the numbers, the digits on the power supply. Looks good, looks good looks pretty good i think we should have a boot okay let's connect the screen boom we have an apple that's pretty nice but that's not the repair the repair should be we can use the coat without freezing the screen let's see and we can use it like that 
that. I need a screen with a connected, with a connected ambient light sensor. Give me a second, okay? I want to show that to you. Give me a second, I just want to have a look into my list. Sorry, this was my son knocking at the door. Um, just want to take a screen. light sensor We do it like that. I just take a screen out of, a, of our WhatsApp support phone. Because this is only phone for, for us for the ICC WhatsApp uh, support. So it's no problem for me to take, to take that screen out fast and use it here for this video to show you that all is working fine. So it's a, an old phone with water damage and no face ID. It's just for us to, to support. And therefore we don't need a, a new phone. So we do it like that. check so I see the screen and I see it's working but I want to, s to show you that it's working okay so I hope it works in that way so we see an apple Preventing private pictures at the background, but I don't think so because we are at the restore mode. I think data restore mode, but we need to. And here you can see, and now I don't know the, the right code here, but you see it doesn't freeze anymore. So I just use this code here, and you see we can rescue the data. Now the data rescue will not succeed because. Um, I just used uh, uh, six time uh, the zero, but it was only to show you that uh, the phone doesn't freeze anymore. Boom, back to life again. I got you, iPhone X. Um, freezing screen on uh, unlocking the phone caused by um, something word under the NFC I see. I hope you liked the video. Here, it's only, uh, screen was only getting dark caused by 
laying time okay i hope that you like the video and i hope that you really really subscribe my channel and share my content because we need to grow up we need to get bigger and bigger um, we are almost about 18,500 uh, subscribers i want to get to 20,000 at first and then the next step should be the 30,000 um, i'm really working hard to get this realized um, yeah i would be happy to see you at our facebook group smartphone repair group germany but please answer the questions otherwise we can't accept you and by the way um, please buy an icc pro a tool which we developed here uh, in our company and uh, we invested a lot of head and heart into that tool so i would be very happy if you would buy it iccpro.de this is no advertisement just i think that every technician in the world needs this tool okay a little advertisement i'm out we see you with the next one boom back to life again yes bad.